And Charis, Seneschal and Constable of the Land of Grace, so loved the Queen of the Land of Femini that he neglected his duties towards his own master, the King of Thrace. Much though the King loved his Seneschal, he sent Pancharis far away so that he might forget his love for this great lady. But he could not refuse his King's command and so he set out for exile with a heavy heart. Not so much for the loss of his position, but because he would be separated from his beloved lady. He regretted grievously having to leave her. Pancharis Pancharis was so afflicted by the separation that there was nothing he could do or hope for. He was full of apprehension about her. So, because he could have no joy from his love, he returned at night when he would not be observed. He entered his beloved's house so subtly and privately that no one noticed, and went into the chamber where his beloved lay. She had a little dog that slept on the bed with her. This dog breathed so loudly that when Pancharis heard it, he thought there was a man sleeping with the lady, because he could hear two sounds of breathing together. His immediate thought was that there was a man with her. Suddenly, overcome by jealous passion, Pancharis approached the bed, drew his sword, and thrust it through her heart, right under the hilt. Then he moved closer. As he passed his hand over the bed covers, he felt the dog. He then knew that it had been breathing so loudly, and he well knew that he had killed his beloved with his sword. And Charles rushed out of the room, out of the house. His grief was so great that he could not bear it. He tore his hair and scratched his face till blood trickled down his chest. After such a show of grief, he declared that since he had killed his lady without reason, with his own sword, it was fitting that he should die in the same way. Snatching the sword from its scabbard, Pancharis ran it right through his heart to atone for the crime he had committed. And he died such a death through horrible and miserable despair.